Hello, thank you so much for joining me for my review of Noel in the color Rocky Road by Rick Pro. When Rick Pro approached me and asked me if I would like to review one of their styles, I jumped at the chance simply because I always wanted to try one of theirs. So thank you so much, Rick Pro, for sending me this beautiful unit. So as I said, this is Noel style 535 in the color Rocky Road. Um, before we start, I always like to show the box because I like packaging. <laughs> so this is what it looks like, just so you get an idea. There you go. Okay, so let's start with the color Rocky Road, which I immediately fell in love with. It's really a lovely brown. It's a light chestnut brown base, highlighted with ash blonde, see that there and strawberry blondes with red tones so when I look around here you can really see all those highlights really nice color I really like this color it has no root but I think it is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. Really nice brunette. Let's look at the cap construction. You have a mono top. You do not have a lace front, so be aware of that if you are after one of those. It hasn't got it. Um, the fringe is sewn into the front here. You also have, and I've never seen this before, a little plastic bit here on both sides so and I think this will help if you wanted to feel a bit more secure if you just want to adhere it more in onto your uh, forehead there and just put some adhesives on and that will make it really flush to your head I don't personally think you need it but if you feel you want that security it's there I think that's really nice actually Um, open wefts at the back and sides open ear taps with metal stays and they're fairly strong um, a basic fabric nape with velcro adjusters I find it a quite comfortable cap as well this is an average cap let's just have a look I, there is no lace front but just so you can see what it looks like close up just in case the wind does go. I think that's quite nicely done, actually. That's sewn in right to the front. So if it does go up, I think it still looks really good. It's not immediately obvious that there is a wig there. And I really like the monotop. I think it looks really natural. You can part it wherever you like. And I think it goes fairly easy as well so part it to this side and there you've got your mono top as well so i think it does part really easy as you just seen you know not a problem so i normally wear it on this side so i'm putting it back there because this is where I feel the most comfortable. But that's the nice thing about your mono top. You can move it wherever it feels comfortable or wherever you feel on the day where you want it. So you can have a middle part as well. Easy peasy. So let's show her from all sides. So we have the front, my left hand side, the back. my right hand side and back to the front so what you have is a shoulder length style it is very low density so if you are after a lot of hair if you want volume this one might not be for you this is low density easy to manage hair the fibers aren't overly soft they're not silky but they are fine they feel fine to the touch 
but they're not silky. But what it does, it gives you the possibility of messing your hair up without really any product. And it kind of stays there, which I think is really quite nice. So the slightly coarser hair texture allows for texture to, uh, to be achieved fairly easily. So let's move it back down. Very easy. And there we have it again. Easily ear tackable because of the low density on both sides. So not a problem at all. If you're worried about the weft join because it is so low density, don't I don't think you have to. So if I just show there is no really any worries. So if I do that from the back, I don't really think you can see any wefts at all, which is really nice. She is very comfortable to wear, she's very lightweight. So that's another plus. I think for these fibers, very lightweight. You can hardly feel it on. So you have a fringe and then some layers cut into it. So you can cut a proper fringe easily into it. And I think that would look really cute. You can move it to either side tuck that fringe behind your ear as well and it hides that there's no lace front there but gets it out of your face as well you have to be aware that there isn't much hair there so i think you get away with doing a normal ponytail i think that actually looks really cute with these side layers coming out so it then looks like this which i think is very nice. You can do a side ponytail. I don't necessarily think you can do a bun. We can look at that in a minute. But that's, you know, a side ponytail is cute as well. Um, obviously you can do it, but because there is not much hair there, it just might look a little bit lost. But, you know, I think it's cute enough. You can obviously use headbands, you can do a little updo, you can do a half up, half down, which is one of my favorite hairstyles. So let's do that. And then that looks really cute as well. Because of these sweeping bangs, I think these kinds of styles always look really adorable. And you can get some hair out if you want to. Make it a bit more messy. You can also get it completely off the neck. If it's too hot in the summer, even though I think the density is really low. A little clip. And then the front looks cute too so there are a range of style options headbands always a good one whichever way you want to apply them you can make it funky you can make it cute whatever way you want to do it so if you're after a low density piece longer but really lightweight then this might be one for you to look into Thank you again, Big Pro, for sending me this lovely little style. Um, all the information you need, I will link below so you can find, um, find her and have a look yourself. There's also a little discount code for you to use. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this review. Any questions, any comments, let me know below. And I hope you have a wonderful day.